um, my name is Amorus Emily, the other person of young farmers, low guild. In this group, we are 10 members. So as I said, I'm the third person of the group. What do we do in this group? Uh, we do farming, I plant vegetables, that's one. Then we also make liquid soap as part of it. We make the best side, the local one, out of uh, the ash and the laundry shop. We use it for spraying the plants which are being damaged by the uh, pests. From the support, it was all about memprom. When the program came in 2021, that's when they trained us to be leaders and how we can solve our problems we young women face as we manage our homes and those who have not maybe got married but they are still school going, how they can go about in the lives of poverty. Then there, Mempro still continued engaging us in programs where we attended a program in Nebi which was all about agroecology. There we learned a lot how we can cater for the plants and ways how we can manage them. So from the support of Mempro, like in terms of financial problems, they were able to support us. Like if we want to rent a garden, they are able to support us. So we have been managing this group together with Mempro. The reason as why we choose farming in our group, we feel that it is much easier for us to manage. Like if you take these greens like these carrots, the cabbages and onions, many others, uh, if you do serious farming with these veggies, there's a lot of money from them. That is the reason as why we feel like we want to do farming. The money from these vegetables that we grow, Part of it we save, then we continue planning this money. So part of the interest that we get from the from the villages, we use it to rent a garden from somewhere else and we do planting, like do planting every season. Like right now, it is a wet season. Uh, we are going to have carrot, onion, and the eggplants as usual. Then we have also plan planned to get another piece of garden like uh, just a half an acre where we are going to plant maize and uh, beans then uh, we still continue with the plan of farming where at the dry <coughs> season we, we had planned to plant uh, the groundnuts like at least it has to be half an acre so that uh, we plant it together with the cassava and the beans we just do the mixed farming so that is our plan and uh, that, that's all the reason behind us. Mm. So the money out of this growing of vegetables, uh, we can sometimes give it as loans with some interest so they will return it back to us on the deadline with some interest. We have five people who have given uh, out a uh, hundred thousand which uh, they are supposed to bring back the next month on 17th with some interest so if you're taking uh, maybe ten thousand you have to return it back with the interest of two thousand so if you calculate that uh, hundred thousand there we get interest of uh, twenty thousand so that one we put it different still in the account but different so i advise all the young women and girls to at least engage in doing agriculture because it is beneficial for our environment and it can also do away with the greenhouse since that is a big challenge in the earthly space. Then support from some members like the government. I feel we young women should be included to also make our own decisions how we can support, how we can come over the challenges in our community regarding to the climate changes because we have a lot of problems regarding climate change. Okay, I'm Dana Jessica from Logiri. We have our group, the Young Women Group Club, and I'm the treasurer for the group. Ever since we started, 
The member had helped us to give for us some money, 500,000. So we used that money to rent a land. So we had rented two quarters of land. And we, we dug the land. We called some people. So they dug for us the land. They took 100,000. So the seeds were given for us free. Where I'm standing, we had made in a nursery bed. And we transplanted them. And even they are ready. We had planted entula, eggplants, maize, carrots, and we have sold some. We have already sold onion. We sold at 30,000, and the entulas are even ready. So we are, we are selling them in phases. We're also having some challenges, like too much rain. The plants that we had planted, they are affected by rain. We have even poor yields. And also financially, we lack some money. If they can help us and give us some money so that we can improve on the crop yields. Even we also have things like the rats. They normally disturb the crops. Currently, in our group, we are having 400,000 and we are still selling more crops. Yeah, my name is Fred Aza, community member of uh, Eve Village, also Paris, in Logurit. About uh, the young women group supported by MEPRO, from the start, I've all along been there here with them. I supported the group in the aspect when they brought for them the seedlings. I was there making the nursery bed. As you can see, the greenhouse here. I was one of those who participated in the construction because uh, I see it is very important to support women. I've been here guiding them in growing these crops. Sometimes when they're here, I, I come and help them. If I don't move out for other duties, come to help them in weeding, together with them, even spraying, and uh, many other activities in the, in the garden here. I've been close to them. I see it is very important because right now the women are able to provide food security for their families. Because they have learned a lot from Mupro how to farm, how to grow these crops. And I believe many other community members could testify in our village here. Our report, Rusi Ma Onzir Rosi E, Engazu Logiri Sub County. My name is Onjiru Rose from Logiri Sub County, Ozo Parish, Ayivu Village. I am speaking about my young women group in my village who are trained on how to make organic pesticide. They started by making the organic pesticide that we all gathered to learn after the training. From that time till date, we use the pesticide even on our kitchen garden of vegetables. It helps when the pests attack the vegetables. The young women again were called for a training and they came back with new knowledge. They rented land to plant vegetables and they are making money from the vegetables like carrots. People in the village now know about the group and they often come to buy even from home. Many people have interest in joining the group. I encourage them to continue making the pesticides but also include other pesticides even for root crops and also for bananas. Thank you for the change you have brought in my village. This has been a very key intervention for us as main pro because we know that it's going to strengthen the young women's intervention in um, agroecological practices.